Bloody BBC wrong again. <laughs> This. What? This! Cook it! While you sit there. Well, what do you expect me to do? Cook it for you? For me? It's as much your Christmas as mine. Oh, that's that's nice, isn't it, eh? Let's not go we'll and moan about that now, are we? Oh. Well, it seems to be everybody's Christmas except mine. I cook breakfast? Yeah. And if it was up to you, that'd be the last meal we'd get in this house today, I suppose. Oh, Mimey, you're in a mood this morning. Well, I can't see what good it's going to do me. What? Christmas. Well, what good do you expect you to do? You go around like that. Like what? With a bloody long face. <laughs> got out of bed with it this morning, you still bloody well got it. I ain't seen nothing to change it yet. It's Christmas, Mum. Well, I could do without it. Maybe a holiday for some, but for me it's just extra work. Oh, I was saying it. You look forward to Christmas, don't you? I mean, you save up for it, join a loan club. <laughs> Work bloody overtime, just, just for Christmas. And as soon as it starts, she has to put her bloody long face on. <laughs> She'll ruin Christmas, she will. Yeah, well, if anyone ruins Christmas, we all know who that'll be. <laughs> I haven't had a decent Christmas since I met you. Blimey, who's full stack? You don't give it a chance. You don't look here. Here, there's some pool. Have a drop of that. Don't want it. It's a bit early, isn't it? You're talking about early. It's Christmas, my dear. You're mixed up right after midnight mass. <laughs> <laughs> They'd started earlier than that. They was falling into that church down the road. If I was God, I wouldn't want them in there like that, standing and drinking. I wouldn't mind them in here, I know. Yeah, well, they don't mind them in that church down the road. Just as well, cos that's all they get anyway. They must get a pretty hard time in that church. Why? Well, they're always in the pub next door to it, tanking themselves up and stealing themselves and getting their nerve up to go into it. No, blimey. I met their father and I, the vicar. He's all right. Goes to the pub with them. A nice way to behave. What are you talking about? That's what I all like him, innit? I mean, you... You can, you can look up to a man like that, can't you? Well, cos he can get drunk like oh. the rest of them. No, I mean, it, no, I mean it, there's, nothing, there's nothing in your religion against drink, is there? I mean, I may say the Queen drinks and she's the head of it, isn't she? Oh, never seen that woman drunk. I never said drunk, did I? You don't know what she gets up to in that palace. No. A lot of people hide themselves away when they drink. I wish he'd hide himself away. <laughs> I wish he'd hide himself away when he's not drinking, too. Isn't it marvellous? I mean, you look forward to it, don't you? You look forward to Christmas every year. You look forward to enjoying yourself, and this is what you bloody will get. Well, if it's so bad, why do you look forward to it so because much? Because at Christmas you expect people to behave a bit Christian for a change. Stop moaning and, and, and think of others for a change, not always themselves. You haven't got the work of it, have you? No. All you've got to do is to sit and drink and stuff yourself. You should stuff yeah. yourself. Well, I... <laughs> All the cooking and the clearing up after you. I mean, Christmas is hard work for me. I can't go up the pub in a minute, stand there drinking till closing time, not get back till the dinner is ruined. Look, I've got a pop in there, haven't I? Why? Oh, blimey. It's expected, eh? I mean, everyone will be in there. It's Christmas, isn't it? Much breakfast will be burnt if you don't come down soon. Oh, she'll worry about it. Well, you cook it. The least I can do is eat it. She'll think you'll want any breakfast this morning. Made enough noise coming in last night. Yeah, fell down the stairs, didn't he? He fell up and before he fell down, huh? <laughs> and he woke the baby up and then he slept on the floor by the bed. Where'd he go? Up the road to midnight mass. But he left here nine o'clock. Yeah. Three hours in the pub, half an hour in church, and the rest of the year an atheist. Yeah, well, it's Christmas, isn't it? You find all sorts of people ain't what they're supposed to be. Not when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> oh, God. I had a skin full last night. Yeah. <laughs> you missed a good night last night, you did. Yeah, well, I can't go up there, can I? I ain't a Roman, am I? Good night. I don't understand you. You go out, have a good night, you call it. The next morning, you're fit for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> go cook it and we'll eat it. It won't go in the oven. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why you had to go and get one as big as this. I mean, half of it would be wasted. I mean, none of us like turkey. <laughs> Look, will you bloody well cook it and we'll eat what we can? Nice leg of pork would have done us better. I never have been struck on turkey. I don't know why they go on about them. Well, only, only you's going on about it, innit? Yeah, it's a nice bird, don't it? Of course it's a nice bird. It's a Norfolk bird, innit? You can't get that. I mean, that makes a table Christmas, doesn't it? In the middle of the table there, the table creaking under the weight of it. Everybody sat round smiling, paper hats on. <laughs> Pulling crackers, a fire blazing in the grate there. And you still up the pub. <laughs> I'm bloody will talk to you. I don't know why we bother to have Christmas in this house. Oh, crummy look! <laughs> What's upset you today? It don't take nothing special to upset me. Just to be near you's enough. <laughs> I'll get this in the oven. You have a drink and It won't there. go in the oven. I'll please. find a way, Mum! Of Mom. course you will. Of course you will. Anybody could accept her. Look, we'll never eat it all anyway. Oh, blimey, I'm beginning to wish I'd never bought a bloody yeah. thing now. I mean, it, there's people that give their right arms to have a turkey like that. Do you know what? There's some people today lucky if they've only got a bit of mincemeat to sit down to. Be less bother. <laughs> <laughs> You don't deserve a bloody bird like that. You don't. I mean, the, the good Lord he has seen fit to bless us <laughs> with a turkey, a Norfolk turkey, to, <laughs> to celebrate his birthday. A, it's a gift from above. He hasn't got to cook it, has he? <laughs> well, perhaps if you pray hard enough to him, he'll come down here and bloody well cook it for you. <laughs> yeah. And perhaps if I pray even harder, he'll do the washing up for me as well. And stay down, perhaps get your tea ready, wash that up too. And perhaps if I pray even harder than that, perhaps when he goes back to heaven, he'll take you with him and let you ruin there. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see God's face if Jesus walked in with him. <laughs> it's going to take ages. We still are frozen. <coughs> <laughs> Christmas ain't what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Nothing is. Unless it's me getting older. Things was cheaper though. Not cheaper. You could get five cigarettes for tuppence then. They don't make them in fives anymore, do they? Well, you never see them. People smoke more, I suppose. Yeah. People do seem to be smoking more since the cancer scare. Mm. Worry, I suppose. <laughs> there was none of that then, either. What? Cancer was all TB then. They can cure that now, could they? Yeah. I suppose as soon as they can cure cancer, they'll think of something else to worry us with. <laughs> My Uncle Wilf used to say he reckoned it was the government. What? Used to give us all these diseases. <laughs> to be tough, Mum. Well, they put them in our food. That's what he used to say. Mum. Well, you can taste it in the water sometimes. That's chloride. Well, there you are. They put that in to improve the water. Well, it don't improve the taste. My Uncle Wilf used to say the only time they've got any use for us, the only time the government's got any use for us, is in a war. Rest of the time, he used to say, we're an embarrassment to him. Yeah. He used to say that they only need so many of us to do the things that need doing, and the rest they'd rather be without. So they spray our food, put things in the water to keep us down. <laughs> he used to grow all his own food. Everything? Well, all he could. He only had a window box. <laughs> You know, I sometimes think that Uncle Wilf was right about that. What? About the government poisoning things. Don't be daft. Well, why do they put cancer in the cigarettes now? They never used to. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Where did Jesus come from? England. Yes, my dear, England. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Lord, let me ask Lord, what was the first two English names in the Bible? Mary and Joseph, wasn't it? Joseph is a Jewish name. Well, all right, Jesus might have been a bit Jewish on his father's side. <laughs> like you. 
<laughs> me blimey, Mary! You couldn't get a more English name than Mary. Anyway, Joseph wasn't Jesus his father, was he? Joseph, I mean, all he was, he was like, sort of, well, he was like a lodger, wasn't he? <laughs> no, God was Jesus, his father, and God ain't Jewish, is he? Don't even look Jewish. <laughs> it's the last thing he would have made himself, and God is Church of England. Mm -hmm. I made you the Queen's Church, see? And what he done, he sent Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem to have his son, and thereby to start the Christian faith. Why do you think that God with all his pull? I mean, he'd have found him a better place to stay than a stable. Well, there wasn't no room at the inn that night. Oh, it was Christmas. Everywhere's crowded at Christmas. <laughs> Hello, silly mo. How could it have been Christmas? He hadn't been bloody well born yet. Oh. Why, Elf, why, why Bethlehem? Why not London? Bethlehem is in the Middle East, isn't it? So? Oil. <laughs> Yes, my dear, oil. Oh. Oil. You can't run a world without oil, without your strategical raw materials. I mean, God ain't daft, and he? he knew them wogs was useless. I mean, if he hadn't been born, if it wasn't for him, I mean, it, we wouldn't be here today. The world would still be out in Egypt riding the bleeding camels and covered in bleeding flies. Thanks to us and through him and his mum, and his mum who was English, thanks to England. The world is now civilised, and what I reckon England ought to do, see, you ought to retire. I mean, we, we civilised all your natives, didn't we? We taught them how to live, and now I think England. England ought to be able to sit back and put her feet up and draw a pension from your upsurgent nations. And I'll tell you something else. If we're going in that common market, you ought to make the Queen Empress of Europe. Otherwise, then his Royal Holiness the Pope will get in there, won't it? And he'll put another bloody island on our hands, that will. Yeah. God blimey. This could be the last proper English Christmas we'll ever have.